Hey everybody. So the, the title's a little dramatic, I admit. We're not leaving YouTube, but we are leaving Weaver Leather. So last week was our officially our last video with Weaver after about four years together, and we have a new sponsor. But I wanted to make a quick video. We're not making a project in this video. I just wanted to explain everything because we're always very transparent with you. Um, after four years, we made the decision to start working with another company. And the reason is that we were given the opportunity to do some really cool stuff that we'll get into in a minute or two. But I do actually want to talk about our relationship with Weaver because it's very amicable. We left on very good terms. There's an open door policy. We're probably going to work together in the future. I've been using their tools for 10 years. We're not going to just stop using them. Um, but when we started, we actually reached out to Weaver because when we started this YouTube channel, we thought people were going to watch our videos and want to buy our product. And it turned out that people watched our videos and wanted to make their own products. And we weren't a leather supply company. We were leather crafters. So we reached out to Weaver and we said, hey, um, you know, we're, we have these videos. Uh, would you want to work together so that we can provide a destination for people to buy tools that we trust? Because I've been shopping them with them since, you know, the 2010-ish, you know? And, uh, and they said, yeah, so we ended up helping them build their whole influencer program. We picked people to come on. We found influencers from the sponsor outside of Leathercraft. We showed them how kind of it was done because they hadn't been in the space before. And, you know, we were much more deeply involved than I think just we were sponsoring our videos and we were using their tools. I actually, I designed their new logo. Um, we advised on a lot of their rebranding. We conceptualized, they put beautiful brass plates on their machines now. And um, that was a mock-up that we did just to kind of um, change up their look a little bit and modernize it because a lot more people were getting, you know, they were getting a lot more eyes on them because of our videos. And so we're really proud of the work we did with Weaver. Weaver is very happy with the work we did for them and with them. And I think, as I mentioned, um, there's an open door policy, you know, we'll, we'll probably work with them in the future. But it's time to introduce our new sponsor because our new sponsor is an old friend of ours. Um, this, they all, they carry all this leather and these are all panels that they carry, but they're not, they, leather's not in their name. So this is why I'm showing you the leather first, but you guys probably know them. If you've watched our videos, you definitely heard of them and they make actually, well, one arm of their company makes all of our custom metal goods. So we're going to be able to show you the process. One, the most question, asked question besides what tools should I get that we ever get is how do I make my own custom metal goods? And these guys have made these, they started making stuff for me in 2012 and they made our conchos. And then we moved our bottle hooks over to them last year. They made our new signature split rings. And then just two or three weeks ago, we brought the last of our line to them, which is our ring and hook fitting. This is solid brass now. And there are our friends over at Buckle Guy. <laughs> of course, I picked the wrong side of the box first. They have a nice sign for us, but uh, I, it's not here yet. So we are now signed on with Buckle Guy for another similar relationship as we had with Weaver. And to be honest with you, Weaver's grown a lot. Re Weaver, I think, was at 20 or 25,000 Instagram followers when we started working with them. And we, we came to them, we said, hey, not a lot of people know about you, and they should because you're kind of a one-stop shop. And Buckle Guy is the same thing except Buckle Guy is interested in doing some things that we're interested in that we decided to make the switch. And those things, I'm going to show you a little. So to explain, Buckle Guy is the retail arm of IAS. IAS is a four, fourth generation, Hugh, who's our guy at Buckle Guy, men's buddies with him for, four, for 10 years now. Um, he's the youngest generation coming up kind of at the helm of this stuff. IAS is their manufacturing arm, and they do all of the custom metal goods for us. This is actually how they started in bag hardware, and then they moved to selling hardware to retail customers, and then now they're selling full leather supplies. And the exciting thing is they want to get into cool tools, but they don't want to just buy tools from other people and sell them to you. So this is some interesting stuff, right? We are going to be developing a line of tools with them. So this is the first tool we're working on, and you know it's a stitching chisel. And these are some of the samples. Now, I'm not going to tell you which one we're going with, but you can guess if you want to take a look at them, which shape. Um, but we are doing not a full line. I don't know. You know, we're going to go one tool at a time and figure out what we want to bring to market. But we think that there's room in the market for a $100-ish, 
high quality, but not super expensive, really nicely polished teeth. There just isn't really anything that we can find that's like this. And so we had just start, we just started developing it. They're not going to be out for a couple months or God, maybe three or four months. Um, but Buckle Guy gave us that opportunity. They said, Hey, do you want to work with us? We're local. We're buddies already. And they're now in the position to be able to pull off a lot of these tools that we want to make. We are still making our own, um, all blade handle and mall. But, uh, yeah. Um, and that's my, that's our announcement really. So starting from this week's video, which I'll give you a little sneak peek. So Buckle Guy is also just like Weaver, but in a different way, they're doing a lot of innovative stuff. So they recently released these wet molds that are like, if you follow us on Instagram, these are the wet molds I use. They're absolutely amazing. You can wet mold two pieces together and make a double sided, fully lined and stitched tray. And they have tons of shapes. This is just the one that I grabbed, but I, we have, I've bought with my old money, all of them that they offer. Um, so our first video with them is going to be this, this week. We're doing, we're going to show you how we make our fully lined and stitched trays. We're going to do a giveaway with them. We're going to be giving away a set of these pill shaped trays, big and small. Um, we got a lot of fun stuff planned and I'm really excited, but we wanted to make this video because if you've been watching us, you know that we don't just hop from sponsor to sponsor. We don't just hop from tool to tool. We use hand tools a lot instead of machines to, you know, we're not trying to sell you on things for us to make money. We're just trying to, because honestly, Leathercraft has done so much good for me that I hit 30 and I was like, you know what, instead of just me, me, me now, I, I need to use my, I, I'd like to use my knowledge for something else. And that's why we got into making these videos to be able to kind of share that knowledge. Cause when I was starting, it was really hard to find that knowledge. Um, Buckle Guy is going to be a really good partner for us because they sell a lot of really cool things that I think you guys will really enjoy. Their hardware selection is like, you can't touch them because they make all their own custom hardware. Um, would they make these really cool tuck locks and they make tons of different bag hardware. Um, they were the manufacturers for a bunch of big names, all that kind of stuff. So they also sell a lot of, this is Sedwig, they do, this is all Wicket and Craig. They sell in panels, they sell full hides, they do custom drums of custom colors with Wicket. Um, a lot of cool, interesting materials, a lot of cool tools in the pipeline, and they want us in on it to help them design tools and stuff like that. And so Weaver has their tool line and we respect that, but we were looking for a little bit more and Weaver fully understood. And so I think in conclusion to this kind of rambling video, that's probably not going to be very well edited or anything. Um, we just wanted to say thank you to Weaver because we couldn't have done any of this without them, with their support. You know, it's, there's not a lot of money in making dense leather content that gets 20 or thousand views a week, you know? But with their support and with you guys trusting us to tell you that, you know, the people that we work with make good stuff. And if you need that stuff, maybe check them out. Uh, we're able to offer the content. You guys are able to, to learn. So uh, yeah, that's going to be it. I'm going to stop just blabbering. Um, if you want to go check out Buckle Guy, uh, we're going to have a link in the description to their website and all of the materials that you traditionally see us use on their website so you can check everything out. I would go look around their hardware. They, they have so many, Kaylina was, we were in their warehouse because they're about two hours away from us. They have so many cool pieces of hardware that you like, no one else really makes or sells that you can make products around. Um, and they sell tons of leather in smaller panels like this. So if you're not into buying super big hides, you can buy, you know, two square feet of Sedgwick or, um, you know, if you want to try out the olive Wicket and Craig, but you don't want to buy a full hide, which it's beautiful, by the way, in person. Um, they have plenty of all of it. So go check them out. We'll talk about them more in the next video where we're going to be making one of these wet molded trays. This is a super fun project. And thank you guys so much for watching and continuing to support us through all of this. We'll see you in the next one.